Next we'll cover cylindrical roller bearings. Cylindrical roller bearings can be found in the rear wheel on vehicles with semi-floating axles. In these applications, the rear axle shafts are typically held in place by a C-clip lock inside the differential assembly. A separate seal is used to retain the grease or oil. Cylindrical roller bearings don't require periodic maintenance. They are either good or worn out. Worn out cylindrical roller bearings will make a rough growl or grinding noise and will need to be replaced. Let's start by reviewing bearing and seal removal for cylindrical roller bearings. Be sure to follow the vehicle manufacturer's recommended procedure to remove the tire and wheel. Detach any retaining clips or bolts holding the brake rotors or drums to the axle shaft flanges and remove the brake rotor or drum. Tip. On vehicles equipped with disc brakes, remove and hang the caliper out of the way using a wire hanger. Do not support the caliper by letting it hang by the brake hose. Next, place a container or pan under the differential and remove the differential carrier cover. Allow the rear axle lubricant to drain. Loosen the differential pinion shaft locking bolt and remove the pinion shaft. Push in on the axle shaft toward the center of the car. Remove the C-lock from the grooved end of the shaft. Replace the pinion shaft and locking bolt temporarily to keep differential gears in position. Then pull the axle shaft from the housing. Insert a seal removal tool behind the seal and pry it from the bore. Discard the old seal. Tip. Never reuse seals. Contamination entering past an old or used seal will ruin a bearing. Finally, place the legs of a slide hammer behind the bearing and remove it. Next, we'll review the proper cleaning and inspection procedures for cylindrical roller bearings. Begin by cleaning the differential housing. Inspect the axle shaft tube for burrs, nicks, embedded particles, scoring, or other damage. Carefully smooth out any roughness with an emery cloth. Next, inspect the axle shaft for burrs, nicks, or other damage. Carefully smooth out any roughness with an emery cloth. Tip. Excessive wear to the axle shaft or axle shaft tube may require replacement of these items. Here we'll review the bearing and seal installation procedures for cylindrical roller bearings. Your first step is to pre-lube the seal with the same lube as contained in the differential. Put a light coat of gear oil on and around all surfaces of the bearing. Using a bearing installation tool, install the new bearing into the axle shaft housing cavity. The tool should only contact the press fit outer race. The bearing is at proper depth when it contacts the bearing seat in the axle tube. Be sure the bearing is seated squarely, not cocked, against the shoulder. With the bearing seated, slide the new seal onto the seal installation tool. Position the seal in the axle bore and use a mallet to tap the seal into the bore until it bottoms out and is flush with the end of the axle housing. Tip. The sound of the mallet changes when the seal bottoms out. If an installation tool is unavailable, use a wood block and hammer to drive in the seal. Never hammer directly on the seal. Be careful not to cock the seal. Either action could damage the seal and lead to premature failure. Next, slide the axle shaft into place, making sure the shaft splines do not damage the new seal. It may be necessary to turn the axle slightly to engage the splines into the differential side gear. Remove the pinion shaft and install the C-lock on the inner end of the axle shaft. Pull the shaft outward so the C-lock seats squarely in the center bore of the differential side gear. Then, insert the differential pinion shaft through the case and gears. The lock bolt hole should align with the hole on the shaft. Put Loctite on the threads and install the lock bolt and tighten to the manufacturer's specifications, approximately 15 to 22 foot-pounds. Also, when sealing the differential cover, be sure to follow the manufacturer's recommendation. Tip. Silicone sealants are not compatible with synthetic gear oils. Make sure to use compatible sealants and proper gear oils. Finally, Fill the differential to the proper level with the specified gear oil.
Install the rotor or drum and follow the vehicle manufacturer's recommended procedure to replace the tire and wheel. Now, let's review some general information about rear axle cylindrical roller bearings. Cylindrical roller bearings should never be reused once removed. And be sure to never reuse a seal. Next, let's look at some common causes of cylindrical roller bearing failure. Contamination. Improper seating of bearing into axle tube housing. Improper seal installation. Use of low quality or value grade parts. 